Well, hello everyone, welcome back to Side Quest and Playframe. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Finally, we are somewhere other than Dragon and Death territory. I mean, there might still be dragons and death here, but it's not their territory. You know what? It doesn't matter. So, here we are again in Castle Ensis. Why? Because apparently I missed something noteworthy here? I'm not sure. Um, people were saying there was a path and like an item of some sort that I missed either near this grace fire or near the, uh, Moonrithil night invader fight, which I feel like was somewhere near this grace fire. It has been a little while since I was here, you understand. But I'll start wandering around, see if I can find that spot. And, um... Could literally be here. Could be they were just saying, hey, jump down here. Because I don't know if I did. Huh. Well, this might not be it, but just in case. Don't think I came down here. But again, it was a few weeks ago now. And there was a lot of here. I'll try to not spend too much of this episode just wandering around old places, though, because we've new places to go. And we're long overdue getting there, and... I guess I could jump down here, but... Hmm. Could go further up there. What part of the castle are we in now? Just... Yeah, I don't know if we did come out here. This might not even be the place they were directing me to. This might just be another place I missed. Do, 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 do. Well? Ash of War Wing Stance. Huh. Grants an armament the quality, affinity, and the following skill. Wing Stance. Calmly assume a right-sided stance. Normal attack triggers a rapid three-slash combination. Strong attack triggers a leaping thrust usable on light greatswords. Oh. Exclusively. Like a... An Ash of War exclusive to that kind of... Interesting. Neat. I think this was the item that I was missing. It sounded like I was missing an Ash of War, but cool. I'll poke around for like a few more minutes looking and seeing if there's some other little path that looks really unfamiliar, but I have a feeling that was it. I'll let you know. Well, okay, so I ran back to where you do fight Moonworth Hill here. And I was pretty thorough here. There is one shiny there, and that I don't know. Maybe that's... Maybe if you get onto the roof, you can run around and then drop down to get that. It's not... Like, color-wise, the shiny doesn't look... Ultra important. It's probably like smithing stone or something of that sort, but... Oh, let me run around real fast, see if I can find a way. I'm guessing either there's like a... Illusory wall around. Or... I need to get on the roof and drop down. I'll go looking. Okay, we're on the roof and there it is. That's, that's how you get it. Okay, cool. Oh, it's a spell. Cool. I mean, not even a thing I can use, but could have a neat description. Also, I 
got an aristocrat headband on the way. Uh, an old sorcery from the Karian royal family creates a sigil overhead from which three enemy-seeking glint blades appear after a brief delay. This sorcery can be used while in motion. Charging increases the delay. The prototypical form of sword phalanx sorcery saw a different subsequent refinement in the Realm of Shadow. These are probably very good. It sounds like with these sorts of spells, anything that has a brief delay wreaks havoc with enemy AI. Like, well, enemy AI will often know to dodge when you cast a spell if they're sort of an agile type. But if you cast this kind of spell, they'll dodge right away. And then after the delay, the thing will fire and they will not dodge the follow-up. So these can be quite useful against certain kinds of enemies. If you can cast them, I mean. I think we're done here. I think we've achieved our goal of finding two things, not even just one. So I want to now go, finally, where we were going, who knows how long ago, back here. We're going to end up back here at the Fog Rift Catacombs. I am curious if we can reach these spots here without having to go further north first, because I kind of just bolted past them earlier. Let's let's go find out. Eh, no. There. Okay. So, you know what? Let's hang on. It is too dark out here for exploring. There, much better. Now we can explore and see. And what a combination. Um, ah, blood fiends. I'm good, thank you. Okay. I feel like if we hang a right up here, that is how we are going to find a way up. If we can. If a way exists, I feel like it's going to be somewhere around here. Maybe not, though. What are you guys doing? Oh. You're missing your ranged attacks. I see. All right. Nothing immediately obvious there. Maybe we can kind of jump up around here then and get around by climbing on this side. Because we're... Eh. I'm feeling more skeptical of that plan by the second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although a neat view of a nightmare to come. Once we get over there. How exciting to jump down all of that. Boy, oh boy. Exciting. Hmm. There's not a direct connection from this side of the castle to this one above ground anyway. It might be that we need to get further up here and then once we ride around we can start dropping down and then get access to all this stuff. That might be the case. That actually makes a lot of sense. Unless... Slim possibility, but a possibility. Goodness, that's a lot of fire. You guys. What if not? Don't do that. Oh, I forgot to bring my snipe spell. I knew I forgot something in my loadout. Even though this is pretty... Snipey as is. The range. For so little FP, it's wild. How are you getting down? Oh, you're jumping. That makes me think that maybe there's not a good way up there from here. 
if that's the option they choose for reaching me. Yeah. Okay. I think we're going to have to get up there another time from another place. Can grab these, though. And that's something. All right. Moving on, then. We might finally get back to those catacombs today. We should be a little more thorough here in the fog. Because I suspect there is more here in the fog. Also, lots of the vulgar militia, if memory serves. With their little poison traps. Being obnoxious. Not seeing much so far. Hmm. There's our catacomb. There's our militia. Anything over here? It's looking like no. It's looking like it's pretty much just a straight shot to the catacomb, so... Let's do that. Save ourselves some headache. And hasten ourselves to other headaches. In the Fog Rift Catacombs. Where, against all odds, I remember that there was a uh, little floor you could jump off of this elevator early for, which had nothing. I'm glad I went for it at the time, though, because otherwise I'm not sure I would have remembered, ironically. And I don't think there was anything underneath, underneath this. Nah. Okay. So, let's have a look-see. I think this is the first... Hello. <laughs> I think this is the first classic catacomb we've gone in in the DLC. Right? Like, I don't think... I think everything else has been uh, a cave or a jail. We've had a couple of jails. There really haven't been tons of them. And they've been larger. The Dragon's Pit, which was another kind of cave. Oh, right, and the Forge. Another new kind. And that's kind of it. Yeah, first catacomb. But full of all sorts of new mean tricks, I'm sure. There's a lot of blood on the floor, for one. And these very different kinds of little, uh, imps. Okay, yeah. That... That tracks. 
delightful. And so scary. <laughs> you shouldn't have stood on your sword. That's pretty funny. Where's our next safe spot? I guess right over there, I think? Hope? Yeah, I can't jump up on that thing. Too tall. All right, go. Oh boy. Huh, didn't come down again. I guess once you're... Oh, it's not actually that wide. I see. You're safe in this spot. Relatively. There is an up there. Hmm. Well, keep watching the ceilings then. Um. Wow, that one's bouncing around. Fascinating. This spell will do great, I bet. Yep. Goodbye. Oh. Your little sword can shoot, too. Ridiculous. <laughs> How is that your most combat effective option? I refuse to believe it is. That's new. You got a big cannon. I think the big cannon is your head. I think it's your face. Ow. You're going to be obnoxious, aren't you? I'm gonna get you. That is absurd. I love it. They're just leaning even further into making these so goofy. They were goofy already. And now they're way goofier. Yep, there's one. Just one? Okay. That's fine. You know, you can get the, like, heads of these things as drops for, like, headwear a lot. I wonder if you can get that one. Can it shoot? Do you suppose? Nope. Good try, though. Ooh, Ancient Dragon Knight Cookbook. Yes, please. For red lightning pots, phenomenal. A record of crafting techniques of the ancient dragon knight who followed Godwin's golden knights into the realm of shadow. Ooh. Fantastic. Are those some of the knights we're going to uh, start running into here? Is that why we have a catacomb here? Like, I could see catacombs being more of a golden order institution. In fact, it makes complete sense. It's where the dead go to be absorbed back into the roots of the Erd Tree. So, like, the invading forces may well have built their own catacombs here to house their own dead for that purpose, assuming that Erd Tree roots can reach here. It's really neat having a DLC in a, like, the equivalent of a foreign land where 
the main forces of your enemy in the base game are kind of an, an invading foreign element. It just casts aspects of them in a different light. I'm going backwards. This or this is where I need to be going. This is where I went already, so straight ahead. Okay. I wondered. This is not the same room that we ran through before. But I'd prefer try this version first. Oh boy. Too late. Hmm, okay. Curious about this as well. You definitely have backup. There's no way they're going to let me... Nope, just sneak up on you. That's interesting, it just keeps shooting. I too have spells. You're done. Okay, now we're up top. Uh, okay, a pretty unique blend here. Two mesmer looking soldiers and one more scary Black Knight of some kind behind them. Let's open hostilities on our own terms. Catch. Ah, couldn't reach that other one, but... Two of them are not a problem anymore. That feels nice. Simplifies things a little. All right, there's that room. And we can jump up there, but I don't see a place to go yet, so I'm gonna wait. It could be that there's something like around the corner. Or further up. Oh, uh, further up, definitely. Cheap. Let's not disturb your friend, though. Now. Jerk. Someone's very distracted over here. Good item on the other side, though. That's exciting. Easy. Get out of here. And... Excellent. Got some good ideas where that can go. Now. Oof. Tiny window. There we go. 
And there? No. No, yes, that is it. Great. Any other directions? Nope. This is the one. No need to rush it. Okay. Huh. Let's see what's over there in a second. Black Knight Commander Andreas. Ooh. The Black Knights were the primary force of Mesmer's army. Their first leader was Andreas, a man endowed with great strength and command over the powers of the Crucible, and whose spirit in these ash dwells. Though he remained a devout follower of Mesmer after his flight from the Erd Tree, he would rebel after learning of his liege's serpentine nature. Serpentine, you say? His righteous stand was rewarded with imprisonment in an underground tomb. Hmm. A serpentine nature is interesting. And would also very much explain why... Mesmer might have been disowned by Landell and the Golden Order. Similar to the other... Blasphemer... Who got into that snake life. Was becoming snaky just always plan B for anyone who dared defy <laughs> and blaspheme the Golden Order? Is it their only backup plan? I guess this is where I want to drop down. Yeah. Yeah, I fear I know the road ahead, and it is a little scary. Just gotta find it again, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Really gotta go fast. Unless... I think there's a safe spot right underneath us. Ugh, hard to tell, but I think. I hope. I really hope. Yep, thank goodness. Uh, Nerve-wracking. What's on this side first? Nope. Up we go, and would really love to find a lever to turn off the big smashy thing, which really feels like overkill for a catacomb. Excessive. Yep, yeah, been down there, okay. It's a good way back, I suppose, but... Hmm. Fine. Go. Eesh. Is reckless just for one tiny little item, but sure. Thanks. And... Lift... Further down. Hmm. And another ledge.
I don't think this is the start. I think this is a new room. Yeah, it is. Okay. I was about to say. I'm messing with my head a little. Let's just... I don't think there's anything in there, but we'll... We'll hop off on the way down. Uh, yeah. Okay. Had to look. And nothing below, just to be thorough. Nope. Great. Well then, first, you. Well, even the catacombs are bigger on average. Something's hiding under there, for sure. How many little toys do you have? Or are there just a variety of you with different weapons? That might be. Mm-hmm. That is what I thought. Anyone else? As long as I'm here. Mm-hmm. Good little spin. Good joke. Die. It is quite a shame that the group messages still aren't working on PSN. I was really hoping that that would be a thing that they resolved pretty quick-like. And hopefully they still will before I'm through the DLC, but... Yeah, boy. That's not the spell I meant, but, um... I suppose it does the job. Almost as good. That was... not a good engagement. No. Don't stand right in front of the doorway. There we go. Boy, that projectile sticks around and keeps bouncing. Goodness. Effective in a closed quarters like this. This place is big. Oh boy. Oh, come on. That's so mean. That's real mean. Where, where am I running? I need to figure out where am I running that way. Okay, that's where we're running. As soon as the ceiling starts falling, which is not right away, surprisingly. Okay, go. Now. Yeesh. So mean. So mad. Ah. Almost didn't see you there. So mean. Across the way. Oof. Further than I'd like. Or maybe this side. Okay, this works. Careful. Wow, they're being mean right now. <laughs> it's a good trap. I am curious what's down there. I could probably survive the fall, maybe. What a mean place, though. Yeah. And you. Don't think I didn't see you. Also you, jerk.
A lot of goodies down here, at least. Nope. Yeah. Stop. Okay. To take stock, there is one little branch. Goodness, what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Sneaky. There's one little branch that has a hole. There's a path that we can keep going. There's a little cubby in there. Where the heck would that go? Now we have to know. Eh. Uh-oh. Not what I was going for. Gotta time that real well. There we go. What? That's great. Sneaky. Blink bolt? Hello. Skill used by the Golden Knights who served Godwin. From a low stance, the body is transformed into a bolt of lightning and charges straight ahead at full grist speed. Wow. That could be some fun silliness on something. I, I don't even know what the right weapon for that is strategically, but. Let's take the elevator. Actually, hang on. Before we do. I don't. Wait, no, I do see another spot we could go. Okay. Goodness. So many paths. just one, right? I think so. So many paths. Stone sheathed sword. A sword that none can pull from its scabbard of cracked stone. Relic of a lost civilization from a time long past, said to have served a ritual purpose at altars of light and darkness. Huh. Neat flavor on that. Where does this go? Got one of you, two of you, three of you? No, good. And this drops me a pretty long way. I want to say that's one of the little safety cubbies in Smashy Room. Maybe I shouldn't just guess that, but I feel like location-wise that kind of makes sense. Yeah, I think it is. You know, t to be safe, to be absolutely sure, oops, to be absolutely sure, it's not dropping us somewhere new that has something worthwhile. Did I bring a little heal with me? I did. Why not? How useful is this anyway? Eh, a little. Not really the best use of that FP, probably, but... Okay. Oof. Scary. Let's go this way first, and then go around, because it feels slightly shorter a run. Go on. Do your thing. Mm-hmm. And we progress. Come on, man.
Just a shiny there, but boy, I don't know if it's one that I feel like. This place is huge! Huge! I'm not even sure it's worth trying to fall down that other little pit, because I feel like it's going to just drop me down to this level. And be too far, and I'd have died if I just tried dropping. So I think instead, I'll take the elevator. That seems better. Still nothing, huh? What a tease. Finally found a boss room, though. That's good. Good. Huh. Might have to try falling down the uh, pit if there's nowhere else to actually explore down here. Yeah. Maybe boss room first, though, huh? I don't super know what to expect, but I would wager a knight with lightning powers. That's kind of been... Lightning has been the theme. Something Mesmer-related with lightning abilities, is my guess. If it looks lighter armored, then we're switching to the claw, but I am guessing it's not. We also have a new friend to try out. And won't they be excited? To see Florisax. Hope I have enough to summon you. I think I do. Eh. Just to be safe. And... Yeah, that's fine. Let's see what we're in for. Oh, that's a lot. But yep, yeah, lightning. Death Knight. You are rad. Thanks for the buff. You probably have a lot of poise. But I am tempted to find out. Yeah, you have a lot of poise. A lot of poise. Goodness. Okay. I think Florisax is helping to defend me from lightning damage, though, if I remember the description right, so that's cool. I bet this does great, actually. Holy. Against you. Yeah, doing great. Yeah. Yeah. Not a lot of healing left after this giant dang catacomb. I don't know how much light. Oh boy, wow, you just got shredded there. Despite the lightning defense, I'm not sure that uh, Florisax is the secret to success here. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Not enough to save me. But okay, going in there with full healing and flasks and all that. This should not be a problem. What a cool look, though. I bet we're going to get a very cool drop off of that thing. All right. I did love the lightning defense she was giving me. But I think someone a little bit more agile might be the ticket here. The answer's probably Tish, but I'm going to give Yosh a shot first. Claus did some good damage, but definitely didn't stagger him. He just poised right through all of it, so if he's not being distracted by my uh, summon, then he is going to punish me real bad for my nonsense. 
not going to be doing a lot of incantation casting in there. Let's go ahead and get some more lightning defense to go with it. Okay. And I should do guard counters where I can't... Ugh, boy, that's scary to do, though. He does so many combo attacks. Well, we'll see. All right, Yosh. Do your thing. Be flipping. It is a lot of holy damage that stacks up. Nice. Ow. Well, at least I'm... Hey, you stole my health. I didn't even notice that happening last time. Rude. I guess I hadn't done a lot of damage yet by that point. That's so mean. I have to watch out for that nonsense. You got lucky that time. Hiding from my stuff. Ouch. Yeah. Oh boy. No. Oh boy. Use your shield. Use your shield. You have a very big shield. Don't forget to use it. Yosh was surviving okay. I don't know if he was putting out tons of damage though. I'm curious to see how Tish fares. And if Tish doesn't luck out, which is a very rare occurrence. I think another Mimic tier with some holy abilities will really shut this down. Wow, you're like staggering him with your stuff. How? How's your stuff? Whoa! Your stuff's wreaking havoc on him. I don't know how, but... Maybe death just... He can dish it out, but he sure can't take it. That's so little damage, relatively. <laughs> yeah, Tisha is just fierce on this guy. Please don't drain my health. Nope. Or kill me. Both are bad. Nice. Oof. Good dodge, too. Heesh, goodness. Doesn't give a heck. <laughs> I didn't expect that to go that good. So, better one of these. Cool, I don't, don't see myself ever using it, but... The Erd Tree's old sap becomes amber, treasured as the most precious of jewels in the age of Godfrey, the first Elton Lord. These medallions of the largest variety were conferred to Godwin's inner circle of distinguished golden knights. Death Knight's twin axes. Those are cool, I bet. Golden war axes of the Death Knight. A pair of weapons made to be wielded in both hands. Crackles with lightning, the power of the capital's ancient dragon cult. The knight, once the personal guard of Godwin, was also the protector of the Prince of Death's cadaver surrogate. Hold up. The knight, once the personal guard of Godwin, was also the protector of the Prince of Death's cadaver surrogate. Neat, unique skill as well. Can't help but notice you are here too. So this is... the face of Godwin. I am... This, so this is interesting. Godwin, the first of the gods, 
to die is the source of Deathroot and those who live in death. Deathroot is growing everywhere in the lands between uh, because it is all basically spawning from the body of Godwin. Godwin's actual corpse seems to be located down underground in the deep root depths in this kind of ruined city or above this ruined underground city here. This is uh, where, oh, what's her name? Fia, the deathbed companion. She eventually comes here. You fight a couple of bosses kind of in this area. But yeah, this is where Fia goes. And that is this is where I think Godwin's actual corpse is. There is like, and on that corpse, which also involves what looks like the body of a giant fish or like a big giant carp, which has kind of similar Sekiro connections there with like immortality and such. There is a big face that looks like this, which does look like a kind of human face and is sort of presumed to be Godwin's face transformed in this death. There is another face like this, and I think we saw it in the original playthrough, down in the basement of... What's it called? Stormvale Castle, yeah. Down in the basement of Stormvale Castle, if you go way off the beaten path and travel down, you'll find another face like this down below there, which also explains why there is quite a bit of death root popping up and around, uh, sprouting out of this castle, damaging the walls. That's where... Who is that? Uh, Rogier, the uh, sorcerer who we meet in Stormvale. He travels down there in search of that, finds it, uh, because he is one who's kind of seeking those who live in death and serves Fia. And I feel like at the time, there was a lot of confusion as to, like, why are why is Godwin's face in two places? Why does he seem to be in two places? Him being here further suggests that's not, like, an oversight or a mistake. I think these might not literally be his face. I think we are sort of seeing, wherever we see this, we're seeing sort of like a, a key foothold of influence for Deathroot in this land. So, Stormvale was one. The Deep Root death Depths were kind of the original. And there's Deathroot popping up everywhere. I expect if Deathroot pops up in a place long enough and gets enough of a hold, eventually this sort of thing will form. Is my guess. Real neat, though. And interesting that Deathroot is having an impact down here, too. And I got a lot of runes... So I'm probably going to use a sacrificial twig, which I think I've, like, barely ever, 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 ever used. Maybe never. Where is it? Oh, is it not an equipable? Is it one you just use in the inventory? Or is it a talisman you equip? Oh, it's a talisman you equip, I think. Yeah. So we'll be lost on death in place of ruins. So we'll equip that. Let's go find that one little spot where there's a hole and a pit you can drop down. Because I'm guessing you die down there. I'm guessing it's too far a fall. On the off chance you don't, maybe they're hiding something. And if I die, then, well, fine, I leave this place faster. Ha ha, I win. Are these still... Of course they are. Go. Thank you, keep going. Eh. Go. I think this is the one with the pit. Eh. And... We live? Where are we? There's more. Wow, there's more. I'm not going to move. I'm just going to cast. 
Die. Great. Okay. There's slimes here. That's less immediately scary. But stuff has a habit of popping up out of the ground once you get down to these parts of the catacombs. Get out of here. Goo. Lots of goo. So long as it's only goo... ...then that's fine. I wanted to say good, but... ...decided that was too stupid. That's how we get out. You just keep your mean bouncy spell. Anyone else? Oh, yep. Not you. You. Nope. Now. Okay. Lots of slime. Guarding items. Being jerks. Go on. You know you're gonna. Yeah. Item. Item. Electrocharge. I'll read about that when I'm not surrounded by slime. Come on, slimes. Here, I thought this was going to be a shorter episode. Yeah, we'll just, yeah, go down to the catacombs, knock that out. In and out. 30 minutes. Nope. Place big, in fact. Might not even be done. Where even are we? Okay, and this is how we get- okay. 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 Let's leave. Look how far we've traveled. Just underground. Giant place. What did that item say? One of the incantations of the capital's ancient dragon cult. Calls down lightning to charge the caster's body. While charged, the electric shocks will strike the area several times. Charging increases potency. The origin of incantations that bolster the body with lightning. And now a lost art in the lands between. Neat. Lots of cool toys found in here. I am curious to dabble. But we'll have to do some of that next time. Goodness, thank you all for watching. I'll see you on Thursday for some more Elden Ring DLC. Goodbye.